out of Middling Bank for the first time in I reckon 10 years. Gonna see if we can get some uh, get some trout. We've got a got a, a bait rod out just down there with a the power bait at the moment. We might set a second one a bit later. But we're gonna throw lures all around here and see if we can uh, score a couple of trout. Good old Middling Bank. Love it out here. He's Jimbo now, he's uh, going to go start throwing some lures around. We've got the bait right out, we'll get another one set up soon. This looks good. So I'm just going to start out with a, an old lure, Jackson Camarchi. These little guys are, haven't got a rattle in and they're shallow running. But I've caught some great trout on this over the years. Great little lure. Bit of weed. Really miss living in the mountains. This was a weekly occurrence coming out to places like Middling Bank. Chasing trout. But you trade off one style of fishing for another. Living in Sydney now gives me access to plenty of salt water fish. Not getting much distance with this little Kamachi though, with that light breeze. I think I'm, um, at the moment, where are, that little hill, that uh, little lump, yeah. that's deeper water just there. Yeah. I think that, that, I didn't cover it too hard, but that would be a good spot, I think, for throwing lures. Yeah. So around there, and then bay cuts in there. Um, yeah, you don't, the, the weed in the water there, it's not far below the surface. Yeah, I think that would be gun fly fishing. Yeah. But I think running the lures, we might, I mean, it wasn't too bad here. I started where I put your bait rod. I was, I was running that diving minnow and it only dives a bit, but I wasn't getting too much weed. So I think that would be the target area for our lure fishing Yeah. around there and occasionally doing some stuff here, but yeah, you had to move the Vibrax too far. Yeah. I think I'll be putting the Vibrax on my little minnow. Just it's, that wind's not much, but it's just enough for that light lure just to not yeah. punch out enough. Nice one! Is Jimbo, looks like he's hooked up to a nice trout, first one for the day. I'll try and get to him with the net. Oh yeah, he's a decent fish. Not a monster, but yeah, it's alright. Comes a little rainbow, first one for the day, and we're on the board. Well, he's legal. It's like dad size.
He was here yesterday. Yeah. He's staying at Buckendera. Yeah. Oh. oh, really? Yeah, did you say that? No, I, I saw you say yeah. I thought you were talking to me, but then you went off. Oh. oh. Fuck, missed another one. When you weren't really expecting it either. Yeah, no, I was talking to you, I yeah. didn't pay any attention to it. All right, here's Jimbo with our first trout of the day. Nice little fish, about 30 centimetres. He's a keeper, so we'll keep him for the smoke. So I've pointed out this lure before, it's a little Vibrax. It's just a slow roll back. Nothing special, it's not like, like jerk baits and that sort of thing. I was using earlier. With that little bit of wind, I just want a little bit more weight to punch it out a bit further. Very effective on rainbows, not so much on browns. But James has got the one little boat already and he had another hit. We missed fish a short time later. Quality brown trout. I nailed a little storm wild eye shad that I was just flicking along. Fortunately, the head cam was out of action, so we don't get too much footage. He's probably about 40 odd centimetres. He's a little bit on the thin side, but that is a beautiful looking brown. Get some lovely fillets off that, we'll put that in the smoker later on. Very, very happy with that. <laughs> awesome. So that brown I just got came on a storm wild eye minnow. 
shallow run a little jerk bait. Um, I've been running that sort of random jerks and clicks just underneath the surface and it nailed it just on the paws. So quite an effective tactic for trout is, is using jerk baits and, and really whipping them through the water and letting them pause and sit and sink. But essentially just getting it out there. Now this is a slow sink, very slow sink, it's almost more of a suspend. So I'll just let it let it sort of sink a little bit. Not too long though because this wind is pushing it in. And then just, just little flicks. Let it sit and sink. Now you mix it up, make them a bit more violent at times. So really ripping it so it really darts to the side. And what that, that lure then is doing is sort of darting to one side, darting to the other side, and then stopping and slow sinking. And the trout will see it do the dart come over and nail it when it's it's sort of suspended. Very very effective tactic on um, on brown trout over clay beds and in amongst timber but here we're doing it over some weed beds. James is over there in the lurking that corner area over there with the vibrax. We haven't had a touch on the, the bait rods yet. We think the problem there is, is that the power bait is not sitting above the weed. It's I need longer. Should have put some longer leaders on, but it's midday now, so we'll probably give it another 40 minutes and then call it. See if we can get one more trout for the smoker. certainly been a cold, cold summer's day. And that southeast wind is puffing along. It's not, not enough to stop fishing. But overcast and showers hovering around. It certainly does not feel like summer. Up two lovely trout. That, that's great. That's killer. Love that. I had it too. Absolutely nailed it right at my feet. I saw the flash as well. Bang bang, got the weight, dropped. Oh. We were stuck for a second. Is there a snake there? Yeah. Really? Shit! Is he still there? A little snake, probably a little uh, red belly black, I'd say. Just curled up in there. Huh. We've been tramping backwards and forwards through here. Didn't even see this little fella. Don't know if he's alive, he's not moving, is he? I'm not going to poke him. No. 
been tramping backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards.